What's going on guys, Sink D's here, bringing you a new video. This time, um, EA dropped the gridiron notes for the Madden NFL 20 closed beta feedback. Basically, um, all the feedback that we gave on the forums about what needed to be changed in the game, or uh, some things that can help the game be better, they basically uh, did in the last couple of weeks. So we're going to take a look. So from the developer standpoint, um, a lot of people were overwhelmed basically and uh first um when you first loaded up the beta it was uh, uh the pro bowl and a in the pro bowl it was a lot of everybody it's always the best players right so ea had everybody with superstar x factors and it was tough to like try to figure out so what ea did was they um created superstar x factor vision and database and what this basically is, is it now shows the players on the offensive side of the ball or on the defensive side of the ball who has the superstar X factors. You um, you know how to get those X factors and you know what these uh, X factors do. You also know how to uh, basically shut them down, things like that. But um, with that being installed, uh, so did changes to the controller it's no you no longer can look at the field and your play call with the right trigger or r2 if you're on playstation it's now switched to l2 and uh left trigger if you're on xbox um what else went into uh as you can see some of the uh controller settings that changed but what else went into the um feedback was basically during the pro bowl um, they reduced everybody having the ability to just three for each side of the ball, which is weird because, you know, you're in the Pro Bowl. Everybody sh is a Pro Bowl player. They should have their superstar X Factor or whatnot. It made it fun once you figured it out, but I guess for the average or casual player, it was kind of uh, too much. Um, as far as presentation improvements, um, more variety of pregame runouts. Basically stuff of that, you know, make the game, I guess, seem newer but irrelevant in my opinion. Uh, as far as gameplay, that's what I really wanted to uh, talk about. No changes made were made to pass rush. I think that was good. Pass rush is fine. If you knew how to make your reads, get the ball out and things like that, it, it was perfect. Uh, same with passing animation. Every quarterback doesn't have the same uh, passing animation. So for them to change it would have been misleading to the game. And I'm glad they didn't change that. Uh, as for fumbles, the only uh, change or fumbles came on simulation mode. And I kinda, I'm kind of, i kind of glad this did happen because when I was playing the uh, franchise mode on simulation, um, I would get hit stick by Bobby Wagner or someone who had the uh, a high uh, hit stick trait. I can't remember what it was, and I would fumble like almost immediately. But uh, that's been tuned to about 50%, so they say. So coming next week, we shall all see uh, what actually happened. Um, user control, tight end block and release. I think this is cool. For example, if you're getting uh, seven dudes sent at you. And you block a uh, your tight end if, if if he picks up that guy and uh, you need him to uh, release you can you can now basically press his icon and he releases and uh, you can that's a your way out of that blitz so that's that's pretty cool I think that's a cool feature that they added this was not in the beta so this will have to be tested and uh, learn when we have the full game. Um, as far as man coverage, I think man coverage basically got tighter. Uh, last year installment, every time you had a man beating route, the corner would basically have a a brain dead delay, and I think that uh that's been fixed. They said they made some very surgical updates to man coverage, tuned the wide receiver cut moves to be more effective on post and corner routes. I think that's cool. Um, they also made man coverage defenders respect the receiver cut immediately, and and that's also um.
cool as well. I think this all ties into the awareness of the player. So obviously, if you have a, a 73 overall corner going against a, a, you know, a superstar, let's say Odell, he's going to get, you know, he's not going to react as fast as, let's say, Jalen Ramsey. But I think that was cool. Nothing happened to zone. We'll have to figure that out as the game progresses. Um, they did fix some things in the uh, playbooks. Um, yeah, I, I did experience the QB not handing the ball off at one point. So they did fix that in some of the playbooks. Uh, QB getting tackled after the snap. QB not being able to throw after a play action fake. Um, illegal man downfield. People don't realize that when you're running these uh, RPOs, you have to get rid of the ball because these linemen are in a run basically a, a they're programmed to think it's a run so to get to not have the penalty just get rid of the ball either hand it off or make your read quick this game is all about iq i feel like like if you don't have the uh iq or the um discipline to understand what the defense is doing that don't run RPOs, just stick to something that uh, you can progress into and start to understand. Um, pass lead, tuning to prove accuracy on pass lead and extended pass leading. Uh, fix Tom Brady's conductor ability. I didn't even, I didn't even realize that conductor was only supposed to be. <laughs> you could only like change the hot routes two times. It was unlimited in the beta, so they changed that. Uh, I never experienced a ball carrier mode where the QB basically would give up and the play wouldn't be blown dead. I never, uh, the stiff arm penalty, that was crazy. Um, now they added that um, it'll be associated with a stamina penalty. So if you get a good stiff arm, you, you'll lose a, quite a bit of stamina. But other than that, those are the things that basically got changed in the as far as gameplay from the beta going into the release but um stay tuned monday they're dropping a uh ultimate team uh live stream at 7 p.m but be sure to like comment subscribe and as always remember to be great